Hi guys, it's another beautiful day once again and welcome back to Dexter's World Channel. I am holding a bunch of this hornwork and this hornwork is very important in the filtration of our tanks. Well, many months ago, I have emphasized the importance of plants to the fish because the fish will receive oxygen from the plants. The plants also will be eating the ammonia that is produced by the fish. So this is really a symbiotic relationship of the plants and the fish inside the tank. But don't you know that this hornwort is very effective when we are going to use this as our filter media? Well, maybe you have tried this one, but I would like to say that per experience, I have proved to myself that these plants are really good to be used as our filter media. As evidence of what I am talking about, this tank is also filled with this hornwort. And you will see that the water is very clear because of these plants. And you will also see that they have produce a lot of babies. Our sword tail becomes so plenty because of this hornwort. Their babies can hide in these plants and shield themselves from their parents. So this is really very important. That's why I'm going to emphasize that if you have fish tanks at home, please decide now to have this kind of plants. So guys, this is the tank of our koi and I have placed in here some 50 koi and also I would like to make mention that these koi are eating now this kind of plant. Maybe you will ask Dexter, what is this kind of plant? Well, this is called duckweeds. Duckweeds are also a very good source of protein for our fish and they have a custom to eating these duckweeds. You look at this Japanese koi. Even the shubunkin, the Japanese koi, and the catfish will enjoy eating these duckweeds. So we will go back to the main topic. Our main topic is about the filtration system. You will see that this filter bucket is filled with hornworth. I did not anymore use the stones, the nets, or any kind of filter media aside from the plants. And it has been a month already since we use this hornworth as our filter media and it gives us good result very good result you will see that they are in good shape and the water of this tank is very clear you will see this one is filled with homework i am not anymore bothered about the ammonia or the cleanliness of the water because of this homework and i'd like to recommend that you will start also using this kind of plants as your filter media so you will see that I have here a submersible pump and this submersible pump is 40 watts and this is a good pump for this kind of tank well the size of this tank is one and a half meter in depth and we also have here four meters in length and the width is 1.5 meters so this is the measure of our tank and I have here as what I have said 50 different types of Japanese koi so the water will rise up here and then we have here a tube in the middle of course this tube has holes down below where the water can just pass through and the dirt will remain in the plants and they will provide food for our plants and guys don't you know that i can harvest more than five kilos in a day of these duckweeds and this gonna be fed to our turkey and chicken yes this is what we are doing right now if you have duck farm if you have poultry 
or free range chicken, you can use this one and I have proved this to be very, very effective. And you look at this. You will see over there that there are few duck ribs because just this morning we harvested right from there. And two days from now, this tank will be filled again with this duck ribs. This is amazing, very prolific. We will try to give this one to our catfish. Come on. So this tank has duckweeds. This tank has duckweeds over there, has duckweeds, and the tanks over there has duckweeds and asula. And we will now show you how they're gonna eat this one. This tank is filled with the catfish, our breeder catfish. A little later, you will see that they will eat all of these plants. If you are feeding your ducks, you will mix this with the pellet and then feed this to the ducks. And they will certainly give plenty of eggs. And this tank also is filled with Asula. They love to be placed under the heat of the sun. But of course, we have to also regulate the heat because they will not also grow so rapidly if all throughout the day, they will be hit by the direct sunlight. We have also to put some cover. If you are putting your farm of Azula in an open field, we have to put a net at the top of your tank. So maybe you will you will ask what's the difference between the duckweeds and the asula. Well, the duckweeds have very small leaves like that. And this asula has wider and thicker leaves. And they are too plenty now. I only bought one half kilo of this azula as our starters. How many weeks ago? But you look at them. They are already filling up the stand also here a few months ago we made a video about this aquatic plants that we have acquired from Ozami City and a few of you asked what's the update of this come on we will have an update about the aquatic plants that we have propagated a few months ago So we have just pulled it out from this tank. And you will see now that they are growing. They are becoming thick. And this, I think this is a hair grass that is already thriving. You will see that this basin is almost filled with this hair grass. And they really love to be placed under the heat of the sun. So I have concluded that these plants really are thriving and growing and multiplying if they are exposed to sunlight. So that's the fact that I have discovered. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you will continue to like and share our videos. And if you are interested about how to make your DIY filter bucket, I have so many videos about this and also I have so many videos about breeding Japanese koi, goldfish, 
and other animals. So that's all that we can share with you today. I hope you will continue to like and share our videos. And if you are not subscribed, please subscribe to this channel for you to be notified of our upcoming uploads. Only here at Dexter's World!